Hello friends, I welcome you all to Codus Companion and today we are going to cover Association, Aggregation and Composition in Java. Please like, share and subscribe to support us. Before starting, let's think that what if there are two classes that have some kind of relationship between them. For example, the classes are library and books or teacher and students. Don't you think these two classes may be associated or connected with each other. We can establish a relationship between them using Java association. So we should know what is association in Java. Association in Java is one of the building blocks and the most basic concept of object oriented programming. Association is a connection or relationship between two separate classes. It shows how the object of two classes are associated with each other. The association defines the multiplicity between the objects. The association is a kind of relationship between classes whose objects have an independent life cycle and there is no ownership between the objects. It can be one to one, one to many, many to one or many to many. Now, let's take a real life example to understand these types. One to one. So, the best example of one to one association is that one person or one individual can have only one passport. This is a one to one relationship between the person and the passport. One to many. Suppose there is a doctor and his patients. So one doctor is associated with many patients. So this is an example of one to many association between a doctor and his patients. The next one is many to one. For example, there can be many books in one library and each book is associated with that library and it can't be a part of another library. So many books are related to one library. So this is a perfect example of many to one association between the books and the library. And the last one is many to many. Now if we talk about a teacher and the students, now there can be many students that are associated with only one teacher. And also one teacher can be related to many students. So this is the relationship between a teacher and the student. And hence, this is a many-to-many -many relationship. Now, let's go to the example of association. Now, here I have created two classes. The first one is the person which represents the private instance variable name along with the getters and the setters. Now, each person object can have a name associated with it. The Another class that I have created is the passport. The passport class extends the person class, which means it inherits the name attribute and the getter and setter method for the name. In addition to the inherited attribute and the method, it has its own private instance variable that is passport number. And also I have created the getter and the setter method. So this class represents a passport and associates a passport number with a person. The another class that I have created is the government agency class. Now this class contains the main method which is serving as the entry point of the method. Now inside this main method you can see that I have created two person objects P1, P1 and P2. And their names are set using the set name method. So here for the person P1, I have set the name as Codus Companion 1 and for the person P2, I have set the name as Codus Companion 2. Also, I have created two passport objects which are PP1 and the another one is PP2. And their passport numbers are set using the set passport number method. Here I have set one and here I have set, set the another one. So finally, it demonstrates the association between the person and the passport by printing out the name and the passport number of the individual. So here, 
when i have run this code i could see that the coder's companion one has a us passport whose passport number is 1234567 and another one is coder's companion two has an indian passport whose passport number is 1239856 so this code model a scenario where each person can have a passport and it shows that how to set and retrieve the data associated with each person and their passport now the next one is the aggregation in java now aggregation is a special kind of association it represent the has a relationship between the classes java aggregation allows only one to one relationship so it is very important to note over here that aggregation support only one to one relationship now if an object is destroyed it will not affect the other object that is both the objects can work independently very important point to note in aggregation is that that the both the objects can work independently so here i have created another example of aggregation to make you understand in a better way now imagine that we have two classes the first one is employee and the another one is address the employee is having id name and address here address is having street and city so basically what i have done is i have created two classes employee and the address now according to the aggregation definition the address should be independent in which the employee is composed of an address now the address should be able to survive on its own this address should be able to survive on its own as the aggregation says that both the objects can work independently now from the snippet you can see that employee is accepting the employee is accepting an address object see here i have created the address object in the constructor which means that an address that we need an address to create an employee so as i have said that employee has a relationship which relationship it has it has with an address so employee has a address so it defines the aggregation right now the address object can live in the code without the help of the employee see here i have created the class of aggregation example where the address object here i have created the the object of the address class so it can live in the code without any help of the employee see here i have created this line line number 5 if you can see it is the the address object is created without the help of the employee so the outer world can create the address object without any interference so it is totally independent so here we have created aggregation using java and here the the it has printed me the uh, the id the name and the address see because they are independent so now let's move to the composition now in this type of association the entities are completely dependent on each other unlike the aggregation it is very important to note over here that in aggregation the entities are independent but in composition the entities are completely dependent on each other composition allows for one to many relationship between the objects it represents a part of the relationship between two objects one entity cannot exist without the other composition in java represents one to many relationship now let's understand through the composition example that i have created so i am taking the last example only that i have created for the aggregation see here again i have a class employee and i have a class address but did you notice here something now can the address this address survive if the employee is destroyed can it survive now if the if i have let's suppose i have deleted the employee class now will the address class survive no it won't since it's a private inner class it's not accessible to the outer world so then the clients cannot create the independent object of the address so it implies that the address is tightly coupled with the employee so we have implemented the composition in java here like you can see very well that 
I have created a constructor where I am displaying the ID, the name, the street, the street and the city. So this is the example of the composition where employee and address are both the classes are dependent on each other. If I delete the address, the employee won't exist. If I delete the employee, the address won't, won't exist. So both are dependent on each other. So this is pretty straightforward. And this is how to implement the concepts using the Java. So always keep in mind that this is a very common interview question. So try to understand this with a real world scenario. It will make our life easier. Now that we have understood about association, aggregation and composition, we should also know the difference between the aggregation and the composition. Now both the composition and the aggregation are the type of associations which are used to represent the relationship between two classes. But they are absolutely different from each other. The basic difference between the two is that composition is a strong association while aggregation is a weak association. So let's read the difference between the aggregation and the composition. The association between two objects that illustrate the has a relationship is called the aggregation. Whereas a composition defines the part of the relationship and both the entities are connected to each other. In aggregation, the objects are independent of each other while in composition, the objects are dependent on each other. This is a very, very important thing that you have to note it down. Then in the case of aggregation, the child object will remain in the system even if we remove the parent object. But in composition, the child object will get deleted if we delete the parent object. Aggregation is a weak association whereas composition is a strong association. The example of aggregation is that like a car needs a wheel, but it doesn't always require the same wheel. A car can function adequately with another wheel as well. The example of composition is a file is placed inside the folder. If one deletes the folder, then the file associated with that given folder is also deleted. So this is the differences between the aggregation and the composition. Now we have come to a conclusion that if we want to establish the connection between two classes, then we can use any type of association according to the need. Now if the objects are independent of each other, we use aggregation and if they're dependent, then we use the composition. In aggregation, if one object dies, the other still remains alive. But in composition, if one dies, then the other automatically dies. Now we have covered everything with real life so that you can connect it in a better way. We hope you have enjoyed reading this article. So with this, we have come to an end of this session based on association, aggregation and composition. So I wish all the candidates a very good luck if you are participating in some interview for the role of Java framework developer and this will surely help you. So that's it from my end for this session. If you have any query related to the questions we have discussed over here, please feel free to add the same in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So that's it from my end. Thank you and happy learning.